when will this uncertainty end? Because look, investments are dipping. The economic crisis in the country is one that Kenyans are unable at the moment to fathom. Investors can't, they can't have the heart to invest again in the country. And uh, it, it, it's, it's staining our reputation amongst the community of nations. Just when will the political establishment understand the need for sanity and stability for this country to progress? I guess you are addressing the question to the wrong person. <laughs> you are actually ad dealing with the victim. Uh, and uh, that question should be put squarely to Mr. Ruto and Mr. Gachagua. Because as you see, we ourselves are using the only tool available to us to um, talk to these people. We even offered to, to, to negotiate. We even appointed a team of negotiators. And you saw what they did. Despite appointing one of our members as their representative, and they did that on purpose, they did not want to have any negotiations. We have said that we are very ready to engage constructively in, uh, in, 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 in negotiations, but they have not shown any good faith in t t offering to negotiate. At times, they've just been trying to buy time here and there. And that's why we actually resorting to this. This is the only option that's available to us. But for your information also, and for the information of the media generally, we have received uh, very credible information that they are again planning tomorrow to go back to the Jubilee headquarters, to invade Jubilee headquarters with goons, and uh, to try to, to take it over. On the one hand, Mr. Ruta has been saying that he wants to see a strong opposition. That's why they've been saying that they want to create a position of a leader of opposition in parliament. At the same time, he's trying to cannibalize opposition. He's moving out to buy out members of parliament from the opposition to, to, to reduce the strength of opposition in, in parliament. He's also trying to take over political parties in the opposition. Jubilee is a member of a Zimio coalition. The signatory to the Zimio coalition and their leadership which is not in dispute. Those who tried to c c carry out a coup in Jubilee were told by the courts that they should use internal mechanisms to resolve those uh, problems. And to, uh, in, in a, a, according to the information that we have, Jubilee has actually called NDC, National Delegates uh, Convention, why don't they wait for that? Why are they hurry to try to take over Jubilee by force? 